Hello. In this lecture, I am um, discussing about the health effects of um, aerosol particles. And now uh, the idea is to uh, have an overview of what do we know about health effects and where does this information actually come from. The air pollution and the health effects is actually a um, link of several processes which start from the generation of the pollution, the dispersal of the pollution into our environment and result eventually to a negative health outcome uh, uh, and in extreme case mortality, increased mortality of people. The uh, processes leading to health outcome can be studied and are studied individually but these studies are very time consuming and take a big effort since we don't want to expose people unnecessarily to high concentrations of pollutants. And uh, the studies are mainly done uh, focusing on uh, groups of people uh, living in their natural environments, following the health outcomes of people and following the air quality in their environments, in their all micro environments, in their home, in their workplace, in the areas where they spend their uh, free time, etc. So we have uh, many processes to take care of and uh, if we know all the steps, we know the connection from the emission sources to the health effects. And then we can uh, regulate and then we can control this health effect route. Uh, but since this is not entirely possible, uh, the, the link is less clear in, in many cases. We have to deal with uh, what we can measure. So we can measure the concentration, we can measure the exposure to uh, pollution and we can separately measure the health outcome. So we, we know um, as a big picture what is the outcome of, of uh, reduced air quality and this is what we can regulate, this is what we can uh, control and this is what we can make better in the future. The main pollutants in our atmosphere are considered to be the, the particles, the fine particles and also larger particles. Uh, there is uh, clear evidence from many studies that uh, the particles are causing uh, the, the most significant health effects of all airborne pollutants. We have also several gases which also are important and uh, cause a health problem and all of this is listed or, or the main compounds are summarized in this table. If we focus now on, on the the particles, there are several things to consider. First of all, the particles comes from different sources and, and they are um, as a result in different sizes. And these different size of particles also deposit with different probability into our respiratory system. The most dangerous, the most uh, significant pollution is considered to be the fine particles and especially the ultrafine particles, the particles smaller than uh, 100 uh, nanometers in diameter, which can penetrate deeply into our respiratory system and which can deposit very uh, efficiently into our um, lungs and the alveolar region of our lungs. The health effects caused by the, the particles can be classified from uh, for short-term effects and long-term effects. The short-term effects are due to the variation, uh, daily variations of, of uh, pollution concentrations and, and the long-term effects are more cumulative effects uh, resulting to lung cancer and other serious illnesses leading to increased mortality in, in the worst case. It's interesting to, to uh, observe also the potential indirect effects 
which are due to the changes in our atmosphere and environment due to the pollution leading to an indirect uh, uh, health effect of, of human beings. Climate change is, is one of the clear examples of, of such indirect effects. The, the knowledge of what we know of um, air pollution and, and link to the health effects comes from uh, epidemiological studies. One of the uh, early studies took place in the 1970s uh, in the United States, in which six cities were studied in terms of, of the pollutant concentrations and uh, increased uh, mortality of people. And uh, linking these two parameters, the pollution to increased uh, risk of mortality, the health outcome was studied. Uh, interestingly, the, the researchers find out that the um, total particle concentration did not co correlate very well with the increased uh, rate of mortality. And uh, doing more detailed study, they realized that actually the fine particle concentration seemed to produce much more clear uh, correlation between the pollution and the health outcome. This is one of the first signals which was repeated uh, in the future and uh, several studies are uh, showing similar indications of, of the special risk of fine particles in the, the human health. Systematic studies across the Europe show that the loss of life expectancy due to the PM2.5, the fine fraction of particulate pollution, is leading to um, a loss of life up to several years in the most pollutant areas in the highly industrial regions of the Europe. Even in the more remote areas of the Europe, the, the loss in life expectancy can be up to several months which is also very significant considering that this is an average number going across the population and, and leading to significant uh, effect to all of us.